Okay, so it is August 11th. It's about 11.30. I move in in two days and I just started packing. I didn't film like when I first started, but you know, had to get a little process going. So I'll kind of show you how far I got. So this is kind of what I've done so far. This still looks crazy, but basically that's trash. Those are the bags I'm about to start putting everything in. These are clothes, but I decided that I'm gonna do clothes last. This is basically everything I showed in the dorm hall, which will fit in one bag in itself. More clothes I'm gonna have to go through, and then these are basically everything I'm gonna have to put together while I'm there. I filled the laundry hamper as much as I could, and then these are the two storage bins I was telling you all about. And I just basically put some in each. So this is like storage, bathroom stuff, and mostly the kitchen stuff down here. Right here is basically all my makeup and stuff, but I'll also be sorting that last as well, so. I kind of tried to organize it by like hygiene supplies over here. And then that's pretty much it. I'm about to try and start putting it in the bags and get some progress going because it doesn't look like I've done much. It felt like I did though, but it doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead and get started. all the ones that didn't make the cut and mostly because they they either had holes or like the skirt they're just not as modest or they have to be layered up and it's not it's not ideal to be layering up because I already told y'all how hot it's gonna be so they're gonna stay is the progress I've made I've kind of minimized everything that's just covers it's not even jeans and then I took out majority of my hijabs as you can see how empty it is now all of those are dirty clothes I'm about to wash them and most likely most of that is coming as well and then these are significantly smaller update is 210 and I've I feel like I over I'm overpacking. I definitely feel like it's so much stuff that I need it. Like I don't even know what more to say. I should have been did it. I don't know why I waited so late. I have nothing to say for myself. Anyway, y'all wanna see the new shoes I got? 
I got these Reeboks. The old school ones. They are so cute. Uh, they tell me to stop saying everything is so cute, but it is. Like, what you want me to say? I don't know if I said this already. Now I got the red chucks. Anyway. I'm still not done packing and I'm moving tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. And we have a three hour drive, but I'll show you the progress I made. It's really not much I have to do left, but I'll let you decide. Completely done with the closet. This looks like a gigantic mess, but in reality, it's just my hijabs, underwear, that's a box of clothes, and then the bedding and my makeup, which I still have to sort through and I need to wash my brushes tonight. But I'll show you the other bags that are already packed. So I have four so far. And then the rug. I may or may not be getting a new one. I'll let you know. But as of now, it might either be a total of five or six bags. Hopefully, I can fit all that stuff in the room in one more bag. Because as of now, it's going to be a tight fit regardless. But let's just finish packing this up. I Okay, y'all, I got a late start, but it's move-in day. We're trying to figure out how we're going to fit all this stuff in the car right now. I don't really have a good problem because I packed my tripod already, but this is everything. And now I'll let y'all see the finished product. I've been crying all night. I don't know if you can tell, but this, this makeup is concealing half of it. Y'all, this car is packed to the max. It's 100 some degrees. I'm about to fit in this little bitty spot. The trunk is full. And this side completely full. approximately 10 hours later okay y'all it is the next day clearly y'all missed a lot since the last update i completely forgot about vlogging during the whole move-in day because it was so hectic we was in that parking lot for hours like i don't even know where to begin so i'm gonna do a little mini story time to kind of update y'all and then i'll let you know where we are now so i think the last thing i filmed was us packing everything in the car we had a three hour drive to texas state and then we arrived um we were supposed to do the check-in process but we didn't go straight to the dorm we had to like go through a stadium and get your key and stuff like that but that entire process took like three hours and it was just a line of cars like three hours deep before we could even reach the dorm to move in so even though we left at like 12 30 12 45 we didn't start moving stuff into the dorm till about six and we arrived at like 3 50 something so that's why I kind of didn't vlog anything because I was in the car and then I low-key forgot. But I think I did film a little bit of how long that line was. Ridiculous. So clearly I'm practically all moved in. I'm not fully unpacked, but I'm still unpacking though. And I'll kind of show y'all where we are at right now. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm still going to end up doing the dorm tour at the end of this video. So I'm going to finish unpacking. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'm being nosy. These people right outside my window. <laughs> I'll show you my little view. Okay, this is like the view. I guess it's one of like the common areas, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh,
about to go ahead and start the dorm tour. I finally finished unpacking everything and I'm gonna start outside so y'all can see. And this is what you see when you first walk in. Turn, there's a wall, trash, our fridge, microwave. I remember the little bins from the dorm hall. I just put all the dishes and stuff in there. And then directly right here is going to be the mirror and the closet. Um, I'm thinking about putting a rod up here, maybe like a sheer white current, something like that. But anyway, this is my roommate's side. This is my side, so this is where we're gonna focus on and I would just work from top to bottom. So over here is like all my cleaning stuff, laundry detergent, such like that. The bags that I packed everything in. Those are my extra sheets. The Brita that I ended up not using because our fridge is already kind of packed. And then that's my little fake tool set. Over here, I hung up my clothes. This is just my prayer outfit. The belts, I ended up they ended up working actually really well, those hangers for the belts. And then I brought a few jackets and these are all my work shirts. And then of course, all my hijabs. I didn't bring all of them, but I did bring most of them as you can see. Then there's space up under both of these areas and there's even another hanging rod here. And I just put my towels and some extra hangers I have. There's a whole nother shelf and th these two are basically completely empty, but I'm not complaining because as I accumulate stuff, that's where it will go. So towels, panty liner that wasn't even supposed to be right here, so ignore that. I got these three cubby bins and then some more storage down here. And this one is just hair products. This one is gonna be extra hygiene stuff. And then more feminine hygiene stuff specifically my shower caddy so i don't know if i remember i end up bringing two and i do think i'm still going to end up using the mesh one because in our bathroom there isn't like and i'll show y'all how the bathrooms look but in the bathroom there isn't like a space to put your clothes while you're in the shower so i'll probably use that extra caddy for that and then they have a few hooks but i obviously can't hang this big one on there so i'll hang the mesh one on there for my clothes and stuff but as of now this is what i have pads soap deodorant toothbrush toothpaste floss swipes all that stuff this one comes out i don't know if y'all remember so i basically put stuff in here that i'm gonna need like anytime i go to the bathroom so i can just pick up this like if i just have to brush my teeth or whatever i did decide to make space to have my lysol in there simply because those showers were gross they weren't horrible definitely could have been worse but they were still gross it was hair everywhere anyway so i have to spray it down every time i go in there I don't like touching wall, nothing like that. <laughs> Face wash, um, body lotion, makeup remover, and contacts. I just keep that here. This is just more extra stuff. This is the heating pad, lotion, extra stuff. And this was the oils for the diffuser that I actually forgot to get from my aunt before I came. So I'll probably end up ordering one over here. More stuff, just extra stuff. Some soap, white, nail stuff. And then here is like medicine and things I might need just on the go. So like this lint roller, an extra container, and an umbrella. Moving down is my shoes. I know I said that all my shoes weren't gonna be able to fit, but surprisingly, practically all of them did. Except those on there. There's my shower shoes. 10 out of 10 recommend. My laundry hamper, which happens to fit perfectly up in there. And that completes the closet for us. Uh, really liked how it turned out, actually. And then the switches are here. There's another little light. That light is so dull. I never even noticed that because I never cut it on. Anyway, a pathetic little light. I already showed y'all the dishes, dish towel, all that. Microwave. Then the fridge, which I stocked up on food and stuff. So some of this is my roommate's. Most of it is mine, not gonna lie. Water. And then some stuff in the freezer, the little ice cube tray, all that good stuff. 
and that's gonna move us to the actual room so like i said this is what it looks like this is my roommate side so i'm not gonna focus on that and this is my side sorry if y'all can hear me shuffling around in these slides but this is the overview i'm really happy with how it turned out it's so cute so we'll just start here and work our way around this is a little thing I had above my desk at home. I just put some family pictures on there for any of my family members that decide to text me because your picture isn't up here. One, I have to print out some more. Two, I only put pictures up here that made me laugh as soon as I look at them. So if I don't have a picture of you that makes me laugh, I don't know what to tell you. And three, I don't know what to tell you. This is my sister initial that she gave me. I put a little tack for my keys and then I got the little supply area. This was the little desk shelf that I ordered. I couldn't show y'all because it wasn't put together yet, but it is now. That's what it looks like. Just all the supplies there. And then the laptop stand that also wasn't together. So there it is. And this setup is just so cute. Got all my devices plugged up. This is, let me move this. The chair, it was like a typical chair, but I wrapped this cover like all over it and tucked it in. So it looks like that. Then there are these two drawers. This is my fan as well and my shoes, but I still have to put that together. I just put some extra supplies and stuff in here. It wasn't much. And then down here, you can actually put a little lock on this door, but I need to get one. I just put the extra pot, some Tupperware, my makeup bag, and extra extension cord. Moving over here is the other shelf that I got from Walmart. Couldn't show y'all because it wasn't together at the time, but this is what it looks like from a distance. It's so cute. I just got some books up there and I got one of those little smell good things. Then take us down here. We got that little tiny trash can, which I actually don't regret getting because it's so cute. And I didn't realize it had like this little portion. These lights were originally for the vine wall, if you remember my inspo, but they ended up being too big and it was literally only one strand. So I just wrapped them under my bed like that. I just noticed like three of them went out, probably from me hitting them, but oh, there they go. They're a little, they're a little rinky dink, but they work. Under my bed is just these little recycling bins that came with the room and water and more drinks. And then of course I have my two storage bins or like drawers for clothes. I just have mostly like pajamas and such in there, so I'm not gonna show any of that. And then on this side, I put skirts and really just anything that couldn't fit in the main drawers, which will take us over here to the main drawers. And again, just clothes. I put shirts, pants, and then I have food that didn't fit in my little cart under here stocked up as you can see i don't know if i can keep bananas in a drawer or not so let me know but for now they're sitting in there and then i didn't have much to put up here so i just made it kind of like my jewelry section stuff you put on before you go perfume hair oil stuff like that and i have all my jewelry which i got a pretty nice collection if i say so rings are up here watches that little vanity mirror which i finally put lights in so i'll show y'all what that looks like i mean i finally put the batteries in and that is what it looks like that's adorable you don't have to put batteries you can use like a plug-in but i opted for that and then these little drawers put glasses and these and just this is hair stuff as well and stuff that didn't fit anywhere else then of course i have my nose rings and hijab pins here and then that'll take us to this little corner i love this corner it's so cute trash can another one a bigger one so i don't have to take it out as often i had this coat rack for my mom but it didn't end up fitting on our door because the door was too wide so i just hung it on the side of my bed 
and all my bags are here the vine wall of course which i attack with tacks at the top our dorm usually dorms don't want you to use tacks but they want you to use command strips but ours said that command strips rip off the paint so they'd rather us use tacks i got the little chalkboard calendar which i haven't set up yet but i'll probably do that soon and then these heart mirrors and then of course my little grocery section I got all kind of stuff, like, I'm not gonna lie, overdid it a little, but I'm not gonna be hungry. And this is what the room looks like from this corner, so you can kind of see the full space. But that's gonna conclude the video. I'm sorry that I didn't get so much footage of us, like, the actual move-in process and like what we did during but like i said it was just a lot going on it's very emotional i was crying all over the place so i really was in no position to be trying to be a vlogger for a day but if you have any questions about what happened or how it happened you can put it in the comments down below and let me know they're actually doing another move-in today so it's kind of pretty chill and i just took the time today to finish setting up my room and then the rest of the week is like a welcome week but i'll be talking about all that in a later video which will be a first week of college vlog which it really doesn't count because we aren't doing classes but i'm gonna vlog it anyways because i'm really just gonna take this time to get to know the campus and get comfortable with the space but thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video I can't believe I believe.